Okay, so as you guys can see, it's getting chilly. Uh, since I'm testing my lightweight sleeping bag, I'm wearing my lightweight uh, hiking gear. Uh, just a pair of uh, ninja pants, uh, synthetic form-fitting uh, long johns, uh, shorts, a synthetic long sleeve shirt with just a regular t-shirt and then my puffy jacket. Uh, it's chilly out, uh, no fire, obviously I don't have a stove or anything and uh, since I'm testing out my lightweight gear, uh, I don't need a fire because uh, I won't have one when I'm using this stuff. But what I do have is I'm going to make me a cup of coffee real quick. And, uh, yeah, uh, comfortable, setting back. Uh, of course, I've got the light flashing in my face, and that's not real great. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, in my bag... I got this this is a uh, it's actually I think they call it a grease trap uh, nice lightweight I like the fact it has a lid I keep my little stove in there and my canister of fuel all of it fits in there uh, the only thing the only downside is a the handle doesn't collapse and B whenever you're cooking or uh, heating stuff up the handle does get hot so uh, what we're gonna do is the uh, tarp out of the way take the little stove oh son of a gun I'm gonna my lighter out of my pocket it did okay so good thing I'm at a uh, home I don't think I took it out earlier and I tested my uh, fuel to make sure it wasn't empty and I think I left it in the house let's see if I've got another one in my bag real quick I don't think I do. I think that was my last. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Bingo. And it works. Not real well, but it's working. Okay. So, anyway. Uh, canister of fuels from Walmart. This is from Walmart. Uh, this is from Walmart. Uh, this was like eight bucks. Uh, when I bought this, I think it was like $23, but I think they're cheaper now. And the fuel, I don't know, five or six bucks, something like that. You just uh, line it up, screw it on. Okay, it's tight. Get my water. And single serving coffee I'll make uh, two cups what's the equivalent of two cups which I, I use a, like 12 ounces uh, of water per cup Can I rinse that out since I've had that stuff in there okay, it looks good and I know roughly where uh, I'm sorry I use 16 ounces I know roughly where it's at on there. I do have, it does tell me on here if I wanted to go by that, but I know roughly inside there where I want it. Uh, on your stove, these little legs just spin around only so far and stop. And then this does uh, produce carbon monoxide, so make for sure. I've got the whole front of the tent open so I don't get any carbon monoxide. Uh, but you have to make for sure of that. You can't use this in an enclosed uh, tent or it will make you sick or kill you. So uh, make for sure that you know if you are producing carbon monoxide or not because you do not want that. 
All right, so uh, lighter. That's the bad thing about these when they're cold. They can be a booger to light. There we go. Got some fire going. Like I said, when they're cold, they're kind of a pain until they get heated up. There we go. No. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. So, make for sure it's good and steady and level on the ground. You don't want to spill it on you. Put my water on top. Make sure it's good. Nothing like a uh, good warm cup of coffee on a cold evening or a cold morning. So, uh, so far the it's a good shelter. Uh, now I've got decent room. Okay. So while that's cooking, go ahead and turn it up a little bit. You can get some heat from it. Like I said, just make for sure that you're uh, in a well ventilated area. You don't want to get sick from it or uh, die, obviously. But yeah, uh, comfortable. I got plenty of room. Now, two people, it would be crowded. Uh, but, you know, it is a military tent. So you're made for you and your buddy. You know, battle buddy, it'd be awful close together. Ugh. But anyway, uh, crank this dude up. Get the uh, water boiling. get my uh, coffee going and I'll see you guys in a little bit uh, I'm gonna uh, come on and off throughout the night and uh, the next time well once I lay down and go to bed I'll have it closed off uh, so we'll just have to see how that looks but anyway I don't know if you can see my breath or not it's not bad out here. Uh, Puffy Jacket is uh, from REI. Uh, it's their name brand one. Uh, I can't remember what the model number or whatever is. Uh, but it's a nice, warm, lightweight jacket. Good lightweight gear. And then uh, I'm excited to try out the uh, sleeping bag. Close myself in and uh, see how it does. Anyway. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, coffee's almost ready. I figure I'll uh, get it cooked. And then uh, have me a little drink. Show you guys how long it takes to make some coffee. I know some people are always curious about how long stuff like that takes. And it's almost boiling. I'm going to go ahead and bring it to a boil like I would if I was out in the wild and uh, wasn't using bottled water. She's heating up nicely. It's a great little stove from Walmart. It's not as lightweight as some of the uh, fancier ones and some of the uh, more expensive ones, but uh, and for 20 bucks, I think is what they're going for now. You can't beat it. I do have uh, for my uh, 
that's part of my lightweight gear for my heavier weight uh bushcrafting gear i have a uh, alcohol stove and a mess kit i think it was a uh, it's the swedish it's the swedish uh stove and uh windshield but i think it's a hungarian mess kit uh i got it at a uh from major major surplus and survival or major si survival and surplus i can't remember the name of the place but anyway uh yeah that's it we're boiling turn the stove off be very careful while you're doing this you don't want to knock that boiling water on you stoves off check your handle yeah she's warm now just let it steep for a minute oh yeah that feels good that steam smell of coffee <laughs> i don't know if you can see it or not on the camera but i'm steaming up this whole tent oh yeah Woo. yeah i'm not gonna be able to drink this for a few minutes anyway i'm not gonna make you guys uh wait around to see me drink that let me tell you though i'm looking forward to it we'll see you again here in a little bit oh so i'm out here getting ready to go to bed i've uh got my wool socks going over my sock liners i've already got frost uh, on the inside and the outside of the tent uh they said that it wasn't going to get as cold as they originally did so anyway uh they originally said 30 degrees and then 28 29 30 35 uh but as of right now it's uh 10 o'clock at night i got frost on the inside and the outside of the tent uh so i don't know how cold it's going to get uh we'll just have to wait and see but i got my sleeping bag i got my puffy jacket i got my wool socks on my uh hiking shorts and uh my uh leggings i guess you'd call them long johns and uh we'll see what happens wake up in the morning i've got a mountain house breakfast maybe cook that for us and uh just go from there but anyway uh this is it so far so good uh believe it or not i'm actually starting to get a little bit warmer i guess being closed in and then the uh being inside my sleeping bag i need to try to uh get the uh tart or the uh ponchos down lower to the ground that way it traps in more uh heat i guess lets less of a breeze come through so i'm going to work on that see if i can get that a little bit uh stuffed up and uh turn off the lights and call it a night and uh i'll see you guys in the morning